Highest energies Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. We're going to take a look and see why is your person acting the way that they're acting. So, you know, what drives them to say or do the things that they say or do? Um, are there any blockages coming up around your person? What is it that we need to know? What explains like their behavior and um, their mannerisms here towards you? This is a general reading, guys, so the messages here are de um, definitely general, okay? Um, if you are after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email for you just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle here, guys, and see what's coming up around your person's energy. Okay, your person. Um, interesting. You guys have, I feel like this is an ex. For some of you, this person in mind is definitely an ex. Someone you might have had a relationship with or like a fling that you've far flung. So this is someone who I feel like you're still connected to this person's energy. So for some of you, I feel like even though you broke this off with them or you guys may be in separation, you guys just may be really distant and acting really cold towards one another, there is definitely something that sort of holds or binds the two of you together. It's an energy, it's an emotional thread. You guys haven't released each other yet from what I can see. All right, and with your person's energy here, so there's definitely an obsessive addictive quality to their nature, okay, or just to the nature of this connection in general. You guys may, there was a point, maybe you guys were really obsessed or consumed by one another. It's like a very addictive, it's very enticing here, and you can't pull away or you haven't pulled away entirely here guys so with the two of wands energy here i feel like your person is someone who does a lot of they think ahead okay this is someone who i feel like has a lot of plans intentions or motivations whether they did have for this connection or whether you know they may still do they're just very driven by their ambitions i can see that they're very ambitious energy okay very goal orientated Seeing results is what drives them, okay? And this is someone who thinks first, acts later. Maybe because they've learned some very valuable lessons in the past otherwise, but I definitely feel like your person is, um, their energy is someone who likes to think ahead, who likes to think things through, who likes to process things. There's a lot of thought process that goes into their actions. So when they say something or when they do something, um, believe me when I say they had best thought about it. They have definitely given it some thought. So there's definitely intention that drives their actions or drives their motivations here. There's definitely intention. Like there's a strong sense of inten intentionality for something that they say or do. So I feel like for a lot of you this is, and because this is an ex, I feel like this is someone whom you've had a lot of plans with. You, de you guys were in the process or you have thought about and developed a lot of plans for the two of you for the future here. Travel was involved for a lot of you, may have even been a long term, um, sorry, a, a long distance connection here. Um, the ex makes me think that for a lot of you, you know, this is someone who may not be in the picture now, but there's still a connection. So either you guys talk and you're friendly with one another, you're pretty civil with one another here from what I can see, or there's this invisible thread that still connects the two of you together okay this is someone who i feel like a lot of you think you've moved on from this person or a lot of you think that this person has moved on from you um and in a way they have but in a way they have not because i don't think you have released this person's energy here um okay i can see that there is also there's some sort of toxic or um substance abuse that's coming up around the energy okay so maybe the, your person is Someone who indulges excessively in, it could be drugs, it could be drinking, it could be something that obviously is damaging to their health, um, whether physical or mental here. Um, there's definitely something that they rely on to get by or to sort of cope. So it could be even prescription meds, something that I feel like they like to use that sort of takes the edge of things, if you get what I mean, right? Um, and that obviously is not good because I also feel like that sort of clouds their judgment for, you know, for their future, whether it's relationships or career or business. So there's definitely something that I feel like that they're maybe addicted to, okay? Some sort of addiction is coming up with the devil's energy. If it's not a substance that they're addicted to, I feel like it's just that they may be addicted to a certain lifestyle, addicted to 
Um, they may even have OCD, like um, they may be very compulsive in some ways, or the two of you might just find that you're, you know, you were really addicted or you still are quite addicted and obsessed with one another. It's, it's an energy that is very consuming. It's an energy that feels very intoxicating, guys. This is why I feel like there is a sense of addiction coming up around them or your connection here. Now with temperance, I feel like the two of you were, I don't know that you guys are or were in balance with one another, okay? Because with temperance, I'm getting that your person, and this is another thing, I feel like with regards to their energies, I feel like there's a lot of heaviness in their energy. So they may be using certain things or they may be doing certain things to help ease some sort of pain. And what they don't realize is, although it may take the edge of things and although it may make things feel better in the moment, essentially in the long term, it's causing them more pain and harm and hurt and you know, we just wish we could help someone like that. Um, so if you are involved or you have been involved with someone in the past who, you know, is doing this to themselves, not only are they hurting themselves, but they're also hurting the people that they love, okay? They're hurting the people around them because, you know, it hurts to see someone like this. It would hurt to see someone go through these things, okay? And essentially, I don't know that this person is wanting to help themselves because I feel like, they feel like what they're doing helps them. And look, it may for the moment or for the time being, but in the long run, it's doing more harm than good, definitely. Um, so yeah, I feel like the energies are a little bit imbalanced. I feel like your person needs healing. I feel like there's some there's a really dark side to their nature, like a bit of a mysterious, or they have this dark, like dark, it's not a dark energy, but it's a bit of a dark side. They can... Maybe they are prone to depression or maybe they are prone to, as I've mentioned, certain addictions here. There's definitely fears, insecurities, anxieties here with the devil's energy. This is what I mean, like a dark energy. There's not a dark spirit, guys, not a dark spirit, but a dark energy that consumes them, okay? Um, this is why I feel like they need healing. Now, your person is someone who is in their head a lot, okay? I did mention that I see them really thinking things out. Um, and sometimes I feel like this is where they trip themselves up because they think too much. Um, don't get me wrong. I feel like, you know, thinking things out um, and really putting thought process into something is a great thing. But I feel like there's too much of it around this person. I feel like they get too wrapped up in their heads that sometimes they forget to take the action that's needed. So your person can sometimes, without even realizing, your person can be very withdrawn or they can pull away. To you, I feel like you interpret it as, oh no, you know, this person is doing interest or the feelings here are dissolving. It's not the case. I just feel like your person may have a tendency to sometimes take take for granted what's right in front of them, you know, being you and being certain other things here. So, and again, it just comes down to this energy where they're just so consumed by their thoughts or by what it is that they have to do here that sometimes they don't end up taking any action at all. And they can become distant as a result. Now, with the Page of Cups, I do feel like your person has a lot of love to give, okay? I definitely feel like there's a lot of emotion in your person's energy, but I feel like your person doesn't know how to express those emotions. So... When you do have, when they do have moments where they come forward and reveal to you what they feel, I feel like these are moments that you truly cherish, and these are moments that do catch you by surprise. But um, I feel like with your person's energy here, there's so much emotion, but they need to find an emotional outlet. They need to find a way to express themselves um, and do so in a creative way because it becomes very self-destructive. Excuse me, it becomes very self-destructive with the the devil's energy to the point where they feel so much. And because they don't want to feel as much as they do, they sometimes take, you know, they sometimes turn to certain addictions to help sort of smooth all of those emotions out. Okay, guys, so these are your messages here. I want to thank you all for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel. I will be sharing with you guys um, more Tara Love messages, so do stay tuned. For those of you after personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, guys, take care. I'll catch up with you later.